Hello everyone today, we'll take a look at the best garage heaters in the market for 2023. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices, and find out more information about these garage heater, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. Number 1. Comfort Zone Electric Ceiling Mounted Heater This electric garage heater is a semi-permanent option that mounts on a ceiling or a wall. It either can be hardwired into the home electrical system, or the user can fit it with a plug-in cord for a 30-amp outlet. The durable steel body of the heater is resistant to impact damage, and a dual-knob thermostat at the base of the heater makes it easy to control the temperature in the garage. This 5,000-watt forced air electric heater has adjustable louvers and a variable angle mounting bracket to direct airflow wherever necessary. A built-in sensor in this garage heater makes sure that the unit isn't overheating. If the temperature gets too high, the device switches off immediately to prevent internal or external damage. While the Comfort Zone is a top-notch garage heater, setting it up was a bit of a mixed bag. It didn't come with a 220-volt pigtail or box entry. The cable clamp that secures the wire to the box, so they need to be separate purchases. Otherwise, the Comfort Zone was very easy to set up, and it also put out plenty of heat. Also, removing the grill is very easy making future cleanings a breeze. Reasons to buy, simple to install, can be hardwired or fit with a cord for a 30 amp outlet. Easy to remove grill and take apart for cleaning. Plenty of heat, easy to control temperature. Reasons to avoid, does not come with the needed wire or cable clamp, separate purchases required. Number two, Lasco 750 5320 Ceramic Space Heater. The Lasco electric convection heater is well suited for the garage or it can be used indoors. Just pick it up by the built-in handle and find a suitable location where there is an accessible power outlet. Once it's set up, the user can operate the heater with the control panel on the top of the heater or take advantage of the included remote. Turn the heater on and choose to set an automatic timer that will turn off the heater when it reaches the scheduled time, or set the heater to run non-stop until it is manually switched off. The 1500-watt heater comes with several additional features including oscillation, overheating protection, and a cool touch exterior that allows users to maneuver the heater while it is in use without getting burned. During testing, the Lasco proved to be a surprisingly powerful and very quiet heater. While it wasn't able to heat the whole garage, it did make a significant difference in the immediate area, meaning it's a good choice for smaller spaces. We also like that it came with a remote control for adjusting the temperature and swapping through modes. The oscillation mode is also nice for spreading a bit of heat over a larger area, like a workbench or a shop floor. The only complaint is that this tall heater doesn't have any tip-over protection. We left it face down on the garage floor for over a minute, and it just continued to heat. Reasons to buy Remote control for adjusting temperature and modes. Heats very quietly yet powerfully. Has an oscillation mode, overheating protection, and cool touch exterior. Reasons to avoid no tip over protection, continues to heat when knocked down. Number 3. Foreign Heat FUH Electric Heater for Garage Mid-range electric garage heaters like this are a good choice for those who prefer ceiling-mounted heater. This powerhouse has a built-in overheating detection system that will shut down if the temperature gets dangerously high. It fits in cramped garages and can heat up large spaces. Control the heat output with the simple analog dial at the base of the heater and redirect the flow of the heat with the adjustable mounting bracket and louvers. This 5000 watt heater comes with a built-in thermostat and a thermal safety shutoff. However, the unit does not include a power cord, so it must be direct wired to a dedicated 240 volt outlet with a 30 amp breaker. The Foreign Heat FUH electric heater proved to be a solid choice in a compact design. The bracket to hang the heater from the ceiling was easy to install, and adjusting the angle of the heater was as simple as loosening the two mounting nuts and positioning the unit. Also, this unit shroud aims the heat downward, keeping the space below it warmer. But, this unit didn't come with a 220-volt wire or cable clamp, meaning shoppers will have to make separate purchases. Reasons to buy Simple bracket-style ceiling installation Compact yet durable design Shroud aims heat downward, effectively warming area below. Reasons to avoid. Necessary wire or knockout cable clamp are not included. Separate purchases required. Does not include a power cord. Must be direct wired. Number 4. Dr. Infrared Heater Portable Space Heater Humidifier 
The Dr. Infrared Electric Garage Heater comes with a programmable thermostat that has a range of 50 to 85 degrees and three different modes including automatic, high and low. It also can function as a humidifier, creating a cool mist from the top of the heater that helps prevent the air in the garage from becoming too dry. This 1500 watt electric heater uses radiant infrared heat to quickly warm up the garage. It's made with both overheating protection and an automatic shutoff system that turns the heater off if it gets knocked over to prevent damage to the heater and accidents with nearby flammable materials. There's a lot to like about the Dr. Infrared Heater Portable Space Heater Humidifier and a few things to moan about. First, the humidifier is excellent, creating lots of water vapor. Second, the remote controls the humidifier, the oscillation, and the temperature, giving the user total control. Finally, the oscillating louvers make spreading heat about the garage a breeze. The only complaints are that, while portable, this model doesn't have a handle, it rolls on wheels. But moving it with a handle would be easier. Also, despite being so large, the dial can be difficult to read if it's not at eye level. Reasons to buy. Built-in humidifier. Remote control adjustments. Oscillating louvers for spreading heat. Reasons to avoid. No carrying handle. Display can be hard to read. Number 5. Dr. Infrared Heater Exaco Industrial Heater. If infrared or fan force heating is more appealing than convection heat, then this Dr. Infrared Garage Heater is a great choice. It has a dual heating system that incorporates a radiant infrared heating element, which can quickly warm up physical objects, like people and tools, and it has a fan-forced heating system to warm up the air in the garage. The heater needs a 208-volt or 240-volt connection to function properly, allowing it to run at up to 5,600 watts. Once the garage heater is set up in a safe location away from flammable material, the temperature dial can be set between 45 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and it will automatically maintain this temperature as long as the heater switches on auto. The heater will run continuously with the switch set to on. As far as the amount of heat produced from a compact heater, the Dr. Infrared Heater DR988 might be top of the heap. Although this is an industrial-grade heater, there isn't much setup or installation to do. Just remove it from the box. However, this unit does run on 220 volt electricity and uses a Nemaha 630P plug, which many users may not have on hand. We didn't. So budget some extra cash for the outlet and an electrician if needed. Reasons to buy. Solid industrial construction. Simple setup and controls. Includes auto function to maintain constant temperature. Compact design produces a lot of heat. Uses both infrared and forced air. Reasons to avoid. Does not come with needed plug adapter.